U.S. cyber soldiers armed with keyboards, codes, and electromagnetic tools to support traditional military operations. We are talking about today our ability to, to, to provide a cyber capability to a commander at the tactical level. Cyber soldiers are now integrating with traditional troops in training. The goal is to make on the ground cyber units regular elements of a battle plan, unleashing weapons like the so-called cyber bombs that the U.S. dropped last year on ISIL. The weapons, essentially hacks, disrupted ISIL's communications and operations, weakening the group. Prepare for total war, not limited war. One sign of progress is the shrinking size of battlefield equipment used by cyber units. This is only one small piece of the larger dishes used traditionally, and they have shrank to these compressed kits now used on the battlefield. Cyber war, though, is not confined to a combat zone. The biggest threats are state-sponsored hackers looming in cyberspace. You know, it's uh, oftentimes referred to as, as the last uh, form of warfare. Uh, or is the last war as far as uh, cybersecurity is concerned and it's very important to have your military uh, at least uh, have, have a strong understanding of the various threats that are out there uh, and to have a component, component that is on par with uh, the various adversaries. Analysts fear the U.S. is already behind the curve. Russian hackers famously stole emails from the U.S. Democratic National Committee last year and Chinese hackers are accused of regularly stealing secrets from U.S. industry. The internet is a seemingly boundless new theater of combat, spurring the cyber arms race across the globe.